Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's try to understand what is FinOps and what are the roles and responsibilities of a FinOps engineering team. Of late, we have seen a lot of companies building the FinOps culture within their organization and also building the FinOps engineering teams. Also, some of the DevOps engineers are transitioning into the FinOps roles. So I thought, let me make a video covering what is FinOps, why FinOps, and most importantly, how to implement FinOps. So this is going to be a short video, but within this video, you will understand a overview of FinOps. Let's start with what is FinOps? As the name suggests, FinOps is combination or FinOps aims at collaboration between the finance team as well as the DevOps team. Now you might ask, but who is finance? Finance is basically the business or management. So basically DevOps engineers working very closely with the business or working very closely with the management to understand the existing cloud cost, understand existing cloud budget and reducing or optimizing the cloud cost. So this is called as FinOps. So this is the definition of the FinOps. DevOps engineering team working very closely or collaborating with the business or collaborating with the management to understand existing cloud cost, understand the budget defined for the cloud in a particular year and reducing the cloud cost as well as the optimizing the cloud cost. Now you might ask, but Abhishek is FinOps not for on-premises? Definitely not. FinOps is a culture or FinOps is a practice that is focused only on the cloud. If your organization is completely on on-premises, you might do something like this, but it is not called as FinOps. The culture of FinOps is typically for the cloud. It can be AWS, it can be Azure, it can be GCP. So FinOps is for the public cloud. Okay, now, but what exactly this team does? If I have to set up a FinOps team in my organization, or if I want to move to a FinOps engineering role, I need to understand what do they actually do? So. Let's try to understand. The very first thing that FinOps team has to do is understanding the cloud usage and the cloud resources. What does this mean? So let's say you are building a FinOps team in your organization or you're building the FinOps culture in your organization. The very first thing that you have to do is you need to understand the complete cloud usage. Let's say in your organization, there are five AWS account. There are multiple AWS organizations. So you need to first understand what exactly is each AWS account is doing, who are using which AWS cloud account and who has access to these AWS cloud accounts. Right, All of that information you need to create in a spreadsheet or any tool that you are interested in. It doesn't matter about the end tool. There are a lot of FinOps tools as well. So this is not important, but what is important is understanding the complete cloud usage of your organization. If there are 15 teams, you need to clearly understand which team is using which AWS account and which team 
is responsible for a particular AWS resource. You need to have understanding of all of that. Second thing that you do. So after you come up with a clear understanding, a flow chart or Excel sheet, which explains the cloud usage and resources. Second thing that you do is cloud budgeting. Now, what is cloud budgeting? So here you understood about the usage of the cloud. Then the next thing is understanding the budget of the cloud. Every organization has a particular budget that they want to spend or that they estimate at the beginning of the year. So whenever a organization plans their financial year, they say that, okay, at this particular year, this is my cloud budget. So you need to understand as a FinOps team, what is your organization's cloud budget? Is it $10 million? Is it $15 million? Is it $1 million? So understand that. And you need to see in the previous financial year, which team has used how much of budget. So if $1 million has to be used by 15 teams, again, you need to come up with a clear understanding. Team A is using X amount of cloud budget. Team B is using Y amount of cloud budget. So you need to come up with all of this and also understand with your management because FinOps is basically DevOps working very closely with the business and the management. So you need to check with them what would be your future budget, like the next financial year budget. Step three. So after you understand the cloud usage and the cloud budget, the next responsibility of the FinOps engineering team is cloud cost optimization. So a lot of people might have a question even till this point of time, how is it different from cloud cost optimization? So cloud cost optimization is one step of FinOps, right? Of course, it's a very critical step of FinOps where the FinOps engineering team comes up with best practices. Or FinOps engineering team can come up with some scripts, identifying the stale resources, deleting the stale resources, creating the monitors, taking out the unused backups, whatever it is. So come up with best practices and share these best practices with your team members. I'm not talking about the FinOps team members, but other people within your organization. Because when it comes to cloud cost optimization, it is not a single person's responsibility. FinOps team will set up the best practices. FinOps team will suggest the best practices and it is the responsibility of the account owners or it is the responsibility of the individual team owners to implement the best practices and reduce the cloud cost. They can take help of FinOps team to understand if they are stuck at a point. So cloud cost optimization to optimize and reduce the cloud cost. Step four. Step four is to create reporting and dashboards. And a very important point in the reporting and dashboards is that the reports and the dashboards that are created by the FinOps team should be open to the entire organization. This is where a lot of people fail, a lot of organizations fail because they don't keep the cloud cost very transparent. As a DevOps team member of XYZ team, I will not be able to see the cloud cost of the other teams. But a principle of FinOps is to be very transparent about the cloud cost so that maybe other team members or someone else in your organization can look at it and suggest some best practices. So coming to the reports and dashboards, FinOps team has to create this where they create the reports and dashboards of each team's 
cloud cost. What was the budget given to that team? Did they ex exceed the budget or are they within the budget? How are they doing currently within this financial year? Everything. So reporting and dashboards. Fifth point, forecasting. Again, FinOps team will work very closely with the management and they will help the management in forecasting the future budget or the cloud budget. So basically, a organization will have a very rough, rough estimation of the cloud budget because business or management will not have a very clear picture of cloud usage of all the different teams in the organization. With FinOps team doing the cloud usage, doing the cloud budgeting, doing the cloud cost optimization, reporting and dashboard, FinOps team can help the business or can help the management in forecasting their future cloud utilization as well as the budget. In 2025, what would be the cloud budget of XYZ organization? FinOps team can help. How can it be in 2026? Will it reduce or will it be the same? Will it reduce drastically? All of that FinOps team can help. So these are some key responsibilities of FinOps team. And if you want to implement FinOps in your organization, you should start from here and Eventually, you should be implementing all of this. Now you might ask, but Abhishek, are there any tools for this? Quite obviously, there are tools. Just like DevOps, FinOps is also a culture and FinOps does not bother a lot about the tools. Some organization might not use the FinOps tools. They might use some scripts. They might use the Excel sheets. However, if you are looking for some tools like any popular tools, there are a bunch of tools. For example, there is something called Pinout or there is a thing called as Cloudability. Harness also has a FinOps tool. There is something called Cloud Zero. If you are already using AWS, you might be aware about AWS Cost Explorer. Even this is a FinOps tool, right? If you go to AWS Cost Explorer, it gives you complete details. Where did you spend? What is your utilization? How can you improve? You can see all that in AWS Cost Explorer as well. It's not a full-fledged FinOps tool, but it serves the purpose. If you ask me my favorite, with the knowledge that I have on FinOps, the things that I understood in my organization where we have a FinOps team, my personal choice would be Cloudability. Even this is something that my organization is also using and I really found it good. So if you want to explore FinOps or if you want to do it through a tool, probably Cloudability might be a choice, right? So this is about FinOps. And people call FinOps with different names, like you might call it as cloud management, you might call it as cloud cost management. Overall, this is what FinOps team does. If you are doing this, then you are a FinOps engineer. How do you transition from DevOps to FinOps? Actually, it's a very easy thing because a lot of DevOps engineers have a very good understanding of cloud cost optimization. Even in our AWS series, Azure series, we made dedicated videos on cloud cost optimization. Along with that, you should focus on these things and that is how you can transition into a FinOps role. Or you can even start FinOps team in your organization. If you want to understand more about FinOps, you can go to finops.org where you can read about different FinOps principles. You can understand the framework of FinOps, everything that is required. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it useful. We have a huge backlog of videos that I have to make. If you have 
anything that is not part of this backlog please let me know in the comment section i will add your video also to the backlog see you all take care bye bye